Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm doing a halo eye look. I haven't done a halo look like since a year, I guess. I'm not even sure if I ever did this on my YouTube channel. So it was about time to highlight my brow bone. I used a white eye pencil by MAC. And after this, I'm using a white eyeshadow to make it matte. And this will just keep it in place. Now I am using the eyeshadow shade Petal Pusher by Makeup Geek and a Sigma E21 brush. I'm going to create my crease line using this eyeshadow shade. Normally I go in with a black eyeshadow shade, but I wanted to keep it very soft today. And I'm going for a round cut crease because I'm going to create a halo eye effect. Um, I'm not sure if I ever did something like this before on my channel, but um, I think this is just a very easy way to create that round effect on the eyelid. I'm going in with Makeup Geek Sorbet eyeshadow, a very soft pink eyeshadow shade with a soft purple undertone. I'm going to use this shade to blend out the line that I just created and I will keep going back and forth with this eyeshadow shade and the petal pusher shade to blend everything together. So right now you will see me blending a lot but this is just very important because you don't want the line to be very obvious. And on another note, I'm searching for a new foundation, so if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. Currently, I have been using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, the MAC Studio Fix one, and the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I love them all, but it's still not the perfect foundation for me, so if you have any suggestions, let me know. And now I'm going back in with a bigger brush, just a mix of that Sorbet eyeshadow and Petal Pusher to blend everything out. Now I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and a crown brush concealer brush. You can use any concealer brush that you have at home. And I'm going to apply this all over my eyelids and also underneath the crease line that I created to carve out that line to make it more clean and this will just give a very nice effect. Now that is done, I'm going in with Anastasia Beverly Hills Macaroon Eyeshadow. I'm using a MAC 242 brush, my favorite brush for applying eyeshadows on the eyelids. I'm going to apply this at the inner part and outer part of my eyelids, also underneath the whole crease line, but I'm keeping the center of my eyelid blank. I'm using Makeup Geek Whimsical Eyeshadow at the center of my eyelid and pressing it softly and I'm also going to softly blend it towards the inner part to blend those two eyeshadows together. For my glitter I used the Modus Cosmetics Morganite glitter and I applied this with the MAC 242 brush. I made my brush a little bit wet using the MAC Mixing Medium Gel and now I'm softly pressing this at the center of my eyelid. It was very easy to apply because the glitters are very soft and gentle so you can't go wrong with this. Now I'm using Makeup Geek Bling Eyeshadow with a Sigma Firm Shader Brush and I'm using this eyeshadow shade to highlight my brow bone. This is a very pretty pigmented eyeshadow shade. Now I'm going back in with the Makeup Geek Petal Pusher Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply this underneath my lower lash line. Now in the center underneath my lower lash line I'm going to apply the Macaroon eyeshadow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I also applied a little bit of that sparkle. 
So now I'm going to use my lashes by Anitude, any style silly, you can get them at my website www.anitude.com and these are so freaking gorgeous. One of you guys have asked me to show how I apply my lashes when I use no eyeliner so I wanted to show you a little bit of the process so that's what you see me doing right now. I'm using the Duo eyelash glue and it's the clear version, one of my favorites. And I always use a tweezer to apply them. I just think this is very easy. And when I use no eyeliner, I make sure to really press the lashes against my own natural lashes so you can't see any space in between. So, yes, I'm not really doing anything dramatically different or something, but just for those who wanted to see, this is how I do it. So this is the end result. I really like the finished look. It's just a very soft but glamorous look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this. If you want to see me do more of these kind of halo eye looks then let me know in the comments. Don't forget to thumbs up if you enjoyed watching it. And of course don't forget to subscribe and hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!